For many of us, the motorcycles we ride and the cars we drive aren't just transportation. They're rolling works of art. Welcome to another episode of EV Rider. Today we're off to meet a lady who has turned her passion for art and cars into a business that combines the best of both. Esner Budnick is a Jacksonville artist who sees beauty in every crease of sheet metal. She's made automotive art her specialty, working in pencils and watercolors. After first meeting Esther at Caffeine and Octane, I quickly became an admirer of her work. So I caught up to her at her Jacksonville studio to see how she got started. So I actually started in high school. I just took a credit just to get it out of the way. Um, and I started doing the watercolor drawing and things like that. So my, my art teacher pulled me aside. As for her love of cars. So my dad has had a car dealership, like a repair shop and everything like that for ever since I was born. Um, and so I've just been around cars my whole life. Uh, it was a BMW M4, uh, brand new. At the time, it was an F30, or I'm sorry, F80, <laughs> an F80. Um, and it's actually still hanging up on his wall right now. Soon, she was getting requests from people on Facebook and Instagram to turn their cars into works of art. Esther says the key to being a good artist is patience and realizing you won't always get it right on the first try. Um, you just got to be patient with your work and definitely very diligent in what you do. I think that kind of goes for everything, but definitely with this, I mean, you're not going to get something that looks good in an hour or two hours. You got to really, you know, put your all into it and definitely just trial and error for sure. So some of them could take five hours um, all the way up to maybe 30 hours, just depending on the piece. Esther says the bigger pieces are actually a little easier because the detail work is larger. Um, the Porsche that I really like, the GT3 RS, that took me a very long time, probably about 20. She'll happily work on just about any automotive art, but her favorite marks tend to be German, like this old VW. So I did the camper. I really like that one. I think that's kind of a classic one everyone likes. It's uh, kind of everywhere. I've never seen a really good painting of it, so um, I just wanted to do that. That's also my favorite color, and I just I love to see this. On average, it takes her three or four weeks to turn around a piece of art, with prices starting as low as $80 for an 8x11 pencil sketch, and it goes up from there. The watercolors are painted on paper, then mounted on wood and sealed with resin. She has a carpenter she works with for customers at one custom sizes. While her specialty is automotive, she also does portraits, and she knows how to have fun with her work. At Caffeine and Octane, she debuted an art car, encouraging everyone to contribute. The goal of the art car, um, I just want people to interact with the art, so I, I like for people to just get their own drawings and be able to kind of do the same thing, because when are you ever going to be able to draw on a car again? So. I just, I want people to be able to do it too. You can check out Esther's work or get in touch with her on her Facebook page by scanning the QR code in this video. Or if you're in the Jacksonville area, you just might bump into her at Caffeine and Octane. I enjoyed getting a tour of Esther's studio on Jacksonville's south side, and I hope you did as well. Now, it's time to ride. If you enjoyed this episode of EV Rider, please give it a like and subscribe. I look forward to sharing another Florida stop with you soon.